Hey, I'm Dr. Infantino from Platinum Wellness. I want to welcome you to this very short video. We're going to cover some super important points about not just losing weight, but feeling better than you have in years and years. We're going to talk about why diets almost always fail, why we all have cravings and how to crush them once and for all, how to improve your energy levels, how to sleep better, how to improve digestive problems. We're going to cover all those things. Our programs that we use in the office are super safe. They're super effective. People will lose a pound to two pounds a day, if you could believe that by safely detoxing, cleansing, rebooting the body, rebalancing hormones. That's what we do in our office. It's a completely unique and different approach. And if you stick around to the end, I have a very special gift for you. So I look forward to chatting with you. Enjoy the video. Hi, I'm Dr. Infantino from Platinum Wellness. I want to welcome you to this short video that the information in which has changed the lives of thousands and thousands of people. And I don't say that braggingly, it's not like I wave a magic wand and heal people, but what I'll explain today has changed the lives of people with things like thyroid conditions, um, type 2 diabetes, uh, things like um, autoimmune diseases like Hashimoto's, thyroid problems, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, and even weight gain, which is probably the thing we see the most people for, which I truly believe for the majority of people is a symptom of a problem in the body. How do I know that? Well, we spend billions of dollars on diets and what happens every year? Well, Americans are getting heavier and heavier every year. So if dieting worked, you'd do one once, that'd be the end of it, and you never have to worry about it again. But is that the case? Unfortunately, hardly ever, right? So what happens in our bodies? Well, for the majority of people that I see after 25 years of practice, I've learned that there's a delicate balance of hormones going on in the body all the time. And so many times people end up in fat storage mode, right? So you have fat storage hormones and fat burning hormones. So if fat storage hormones go up, what happens? Well, let's talk about what we typically do when we go on a diet. We're doing everything we can to try to burn fat, right? We're going to exercise like crazy. We're going to maybe eat only protein. We're going to do things like count points, take FenFen, HCG, all these things. And what do we try to do? We're trying to trigger fat burning hormones. Now here's a problem. What if fat storage hormones have gone up? That's what we're going to talk about today a bit. See, fat storage hormones can go up from things, simple things like in a gut that's out of balance, from maybe drinking too much coffee, um, a couple rounds of antibiotics, maybe you even had as a kid. So if fat storage hormones go up, we go on a diet, we do all those things that used to work, right? Now all of a sudden what happens? Nothing happens until we eclipse fat storage hormones. Then we get to a point where all of a sudden what's happening? Okay, I'm burning some fat. Things are looking good. But boy, this is a lot of work, right? And how long could you maintain this? This is like pedal to the metal, right? I'm pushing it really hard. So maybe you can get a few weeks to a few months and eventually what happens? Your foot falls off the gas. You're like, I can't keep this pace up. And then what? Fat storage hormones that were dominant are dominant again. I have patients come in like, doc, I just look at food and I gain weight. Why? Well, because we never address the fat storage component. And so our approach in the office is pretty simple. Let's at least make sure we get this balanced. Now, I'll talk a little bit about on this video, how do we get those things balanced? But again, stress is a huge one. Stress from too much cortisol will produce cortisol in the system. Cortisol is a fat storage hormone. A gut that's out of balance will cause your pancreas to make too much insulin. Um, things like toxins in the environment, I'll explain a little bit about also. These are all things that increase fat storage hormones. Because let's face it, what do we all do? when it doesn't work. We go, man, if I'd have done what I did 20 years ago, I'd have lost weight like crazy. So what do we blame it on? We say what? I'm getting, getting older. It must be my metabolism, right? Well, sometimes it's a metabolism. I wouldn't say your metabolism is quite as charged up at 70 as it is back at 20, but it doesn't account for the majority of people's weight gain. In fact, look around the country, watch the news some days in other countries around the world, and what do you notice? You see people in like Japan and other places in their 70s and 80s, are they all overweight? No, 75% of Americans are. It's not just because we're older. And I always ask people, why do you think we all got so heavy? Well, a lot of factors, but our environment was one of the biggest ones. And when I say environment, I mean things like toxins. Do you realize that the average American eats nine pounds of chemical additives in their food every year? Nine pounds, I mean, that's insane. So the EPA actually says that the average American has 400 to 800 toxins sitting in a fat cell. Now, can you imagine the effect 400 to 800 toxins would have on your body? So here's what happens. We go on some type of diet and we try to lose weight. Now here's your fat cell, but it's got these toxins in it. Most diets do what? They pull fat out of the fat cell. Makes sense. But what's getting left behind? All these toxins. They get more and more concentrated. Now your body's pretty smart. It says, hey, does that cell happy if it's concentrated and full of toxins? No. So what does it do? Well, it's called the rebound effect. What your body will do is actually increase fat storage hormones and say, hey, let's dilute this. Let's put more fat back in this fat cell. 
This is why the same 1,000 calories that used to work, now your body with that 1,000 calories says, ah, I don't think so. I've still got to get some fat in there to protect me from this stuff. Does that make sense? So gut health is one of the things that's almost always overlooked. So here's what happens. We put into our bodies things from a box, a bag, a can. Then we add to that things like antibiotics, et cetera. And what happens? All this stuff goes where? Into our mouths. And then eventually it ends up in our stomachs and then down into our gut at some point. So as this stuff heads down into the stomach, it has one effect in particular, it decreases the acidity of the stomach over time. So inside your gut, what do you have? You have a whole bunch of little villi. And these villi are home to about 100 trillion bacteria. Now those bacteria outnumber the cells in our body like 10 to 1. So they are super important. How did the bacteria get there in the first place? Well, most of them got there through just being breastfed and going through the birth canal. Now, what percentage of the population was breastfed 12 or more months and went through the birth canal? I've read as low as 2% in some studies. So a lot of us never got these guys in the first place, and I'm going to explain in a minute why that's so important. So the food goes in, the stomach acidity decreases. Now, your stomach tries to digest the food, but if it's less acidic, what happens? The stomach's sitting there and it's going, trying to digest, trying to digest, and eventually it says, hey, look, I've got to get this stuff out. But there's a valve right here, and this valve looks at the food and goes, you know what? It's not done. It's not digested. So what does a valve do? It snaps shut. It says, I'm not letting you out. Well, the stomach's like, hey, I got to contract. This food's got to keep going. So it contracts. Now this valve is going to close up too. So now we got valves at the top and the bottom both closing. How does that feel if your stomach contracts and two valves are closed? You ever have indigestion? Like, ooh, that just didn't agree with me. Exactly. What happens next though? Well, that food, since this valve is weaker, goes where? back up. And what do we call it when the food heads back up? Acid reflux. And how much do we spend on acid reflux drugs these days? Billions of dollars, right? To do what? To decrease the acidity in the stomach even more, which is going to really exacerbate what I'm about to explain. Eventually, this valve opens up, and this not very well digested, not nearly acidic enough mess heads downstream. And what does it do? It affects these guys. Those hundred trillion bacteria living on these little hair-like fibers. And the reason those hairs are there is to increase surface area. So your gut, if you opened it up, is about the, the square footage of a tennis court. You imagine that? Now over time, you could wipe these guys out. But first, let's explain why the bacteria are there in the first place. They have some really important roles. One, they digest food. Two, they make B vitamins. And what do B vitamins give us? Exactly, energy. Remember I said before, fatigue, the number one reason people go to doctors? What else do they do? They decrease blood pressure, they decrease blood sugar, they have a lot of important roles. But over time, these guys get wiped away. The bacteria aren't there. Who takes over if the bacteria aren't there? Bad guys. Bad bacteria, yeast, you might have heard the term candida. What effect does that have on the system? Well, the food is now heading downstream, but it's not completely digested. So as the undigested food heads downstream, what happens next? The pancreas is sitting here and says, hey, wait a second, I'm going to have to help out. So what does a pancreas normally secrete? Some insulin, right? When it sees this undigested mess coming at it, what does it do? So now your pancreas is pumping out what? Insulin. What's the problem with that? Well, one problem is insulin is a powerful fat storage hormone. So if your gut's out of balance, your hormones are going to lead you more towards fat storage. This is why, you ever notice two people can eat the same amount of calories, one gains weight, one loses weight, one nothing happens? This is what's going on internally. So undigested foods heading downstream. How does this person feel when this gets really bad? Kind of gassy, bloaty, right? If the food's not digested, it's rotting, literally. So this person doesn't feel very good. They might have a little reflux. Now, what happens? Well, this food that's undigested is still going to head further downstream. And by the way, would you say this is probably relatively stressful to the body? Of course it is. So what does your body do when it's stressed out? It secretes another hormone called what? Cortisol. And what is cortisol? Another fat storage hormone. By the way, what disease process are we creating if insulin is constantly high in the body? cells become something called insulin resistance. And that's our glucophage and metformin, the drugs that seems like everybody's on these days. So as insulin resistance increases, now what? Now we're storing fat, gaining weight, becoming what? Yeah, diabetic, slowly but surely. 
So here's what people will tell me. They'll say, Doc, you don't understand. I'm good. I don't eat like this anymore. But again, if the damage is done, when this person eats really healthy food, a lot of times what happens is they feel more gassy and bloated than before. Why? Because if you don't have the healthy bacteria to digest the food, you end up with more gastric problems. I can't tell you how many people come in to me and say, I tried eating healthy, it just didn't work. Others are eating healthy and going, why am I not getting the benefit from eating healthy anymore? So this undigested food keeps heading downstream. Where does the food have to get to eventually? Eventually it's got to get into what? Your bloodstream. Now, it's going through just a little set of cells to get into your blood. But if it's too big and it's not digested properly, what happens? Food literally will leak into the bloodstream. You might have heard the term leaky gut syndrome. It is like all the rage these days. So now we've got chunks of food in the blood. Does your body like chunks of food in the blood? Of course not. So what does your body do? It activates what? Your immune system to attack who? Well, if your immune system is attacking what's in you, that's what? Autoimmune disease. How about allergies? Would you say allergies these days are going up or down? Hey, when I grew up, I don't want to age myself here, but I've never had a friend who could die from eating a peanut. I have four kids. There's not an event we go to that there isn't an email that says this is a nut-free event or a gluten-free event or whatever the case may be. Why? Because if the immune system's already attacking things, anything else that adds to it, the body goes, whoa, time out, I can't handle that. Now, how might you know if you have this going on? I'm going to list a few, a few symptoms of a gut that's like this. And, you know, I would suggest just keep track at home. Count on your fingers. If you run out of fingers, odds are you've got this imbalance. So we've got things like allergies, congestion, hives, diarrhea, weakness, cramps, irritability, migraines, increased sensitivity to food, gas, bloating, um, heartburn, constipation, like less than two well-formed bowel movements a day, spastic colon, like, hey, I've got to find a bathroom, frequent sore throats, you know, one or two a year is frequent. Sinus infections are a big one. Yeast infections, obviously. Rash, um, anxiety, frequent urination, bladder, bedwetting, night leg pains, irritability, moodiness, restlessness, panic attacks, sleep disturbance, short-term memory, inability to concentrate, fuzzy thinking, confusion. You know, you walk in a room, you're like, why am I here again? Or you're reading a paragraph, you're like, I just read that three times and I still have no idea what it said. And they're all linked. And this is why we find ourselves fatigued with achy joints, a few sinus infections here and there, can't remember anything, and we go, ah, it's just old age. It's not old age. Now, all those symptoms, can they only be caused by this? Of course not. You can get headaches from being dehydrated. But if you saw a trend, odds are pretty good that there might be something going on that you might want to have checked out. And that's why we do an assessment to figure out if, in fact, this is going on. You could take a medication for any one of these. This is going to cause weight gain. So you could take diet pills. You could count points. You could do all the things I mentioned before. Or you could figure out what's causing the problem. Right? So our approach is pretty straightforward. What we want to do is get these guys back if they're missing. Well, first thing we want to do is we want to know what's going on. Is a thyroid a problem? And we talked about that a little bit before. Is there an imbalance in adrenals? Most people are go, go, go so much their adrenals are fatigued. So we screen for that. We want to know if the gut's working properly. Once you know by doing an assessment, which you'll have an opportunity to if you like at the end of this video, then we could sit down and talk about, all right, where do we go from here? Right? Then we customize a game plan of doing what? Well, rebuilding and restoring health. See, most people think if you go on a diet, you'll get healthy. If you lose weight, get healthy. I think we've got that backwards. I think honestly, if you work on getting healthy, a side effect of that is you'll lose weight. And instead of dieting over and over and over, you do it once the right way the first time. So what is our approach to clean and rebalance, reboot the whole body? Well, a foundation of that is food, right? So just clean, healthy food. That's pretty simple. Most people can Google that and understand it. Predominantly, we use a lot of vegetables, lean proteins. That creates a foundation by which supplements can really get the job done. The supplements we use are all grown organically. They're designed specifically for cleansing and detoxing the liver, the kidneys, the colon. Uh, cellulite, for instance, helps shrink that. Because what is cellulite really? It's not fat. It's a toxic body condition. That's why we use things like body wraps. They're developed by a biochemist at UCLA to literally restore flow and increase circulation so we can get some of the sludge out. People will lose inches like dramatically by doing body wraps. We don't use them just to lose inches though. We use them to get toxins out. We use things like whole body vibration, which pump the lymphatic system clean. Um, we use things like saunas, which a far infrared sauna will penetrate about an inch to two inches under the skin and pull toxins out of fat cells. 
stimulate the immune system. You'll burn about 600 calories in a half an hour. These are all modalities that help speed this process up. So then when you dump those toxins into the blood, into the lymphatic system of the bloodstream, now we have the right nutrition that can bind and eliminate it. We don't have any little purple pills. We don't have any prepackaged meals. It's just normal, healthy food. And you learn how to eat that way and like it for life. And that's the key to the whole thing. You know, I grew up in a big Italian family. And my family, I think I can honestly say, every aunt, uncle, grandparents, they all died of heart disease, diabetes, and all pretty young. You know, I remember watching my mom go through the same exact thing. She was on a diet my entire childhood. And, you know, it was heartbreaking because she was taking care of my grandmother. Now, my grandmother had diabetes. And, you know, I remember when they cut her toes off. And then they cut her off at the ankles because of lack of circulation. And then they cut her off at the knees. And, you know, my only memory of my grandmother, quite honestly, is what? You know, it was a blue wheelchair with two white bandaged up stumps. And I think the hardest part was to watch my mom deal with all that and take her from doctor to doctor. Meanwhile, she was dealing with the same exact health challenges. And she'd be like, I'm on a diet again. And, and she worked it so hard. And you get to the point where she's eating less and trying to exercise more and getting fatigued. And this is what she had going on. And so she's struggling and struggling. I know there's so many people out there just like her that are going, I'm doing everything I know how. Now, she had all the reason in the world to get this kicked over, right, and get these new healthy habits. But still, even eating right wasn't enough. And she's watching my grandmother literally die over the period of about 10 years. It was horrible. And still felt like there's nothing she could do to make any real change because she tried everything she knew until we started doing this type of work. So what's the first step? Give us a call. The phone number is right there on the screen. Or go online and check us out. Fill out the assessment. It'll give us a whole report of what's going on in your body. We'll sit down. We'll go over it together. If anything resonates with you in this video and you'd really like to know more, start there. I'll give you my two cents as far as where we can go from here, and you can decide. Have a wonderful day. Are you ready to live the life God designed for you? Look, I know you're skeptical. That's totally normal. Most people have tried so many diets. The average woman in this country is on a diet 28 years of her life. But what we do here is completely unique. It is not about dieting. It's about getting as healthy as possible. If your energy levels soared and your relationships improved, wouldn't that be worth just at least taking a step and checking out what we do here? You know. What I've learned over many years of doing this is women in particular, they put everything else in their lives first. They'll put their relationships with maybe their spouses first and their careers first and especially they'll put their kids first. Having four kids of my own, I watch my wife do this all the time. But at the end of the day, while you're a blessing to those people for sure, what about you? You know, certainly you could be a better blessing if you felt great about yourself and you had the energy to continue. And that's really what I think we offer. Sure, losing weight will happen, energy will improve, but again, this, you only get one shot around with this. At the end of all of this, I think it's really about what legacy you leave. Even for your grandchildren, are you out and about and playing with them? I mean, you heard my story about what I remember from my grandmother. We will walk you through this step by step if you're ready. We have coaches that are amazing and have gone through the programs themselves. We have organic supplements that are grown locally. There is no pills, shots crazy diets, high protein, uh, 500 calories. It's about real food you can go get at your grocery store that'll make a difference in your life that you could use forever. You won't be dependent on us for years to come. If you're ready to make some changes and just really get the most out of life and feel the best you've felt in years, I promise we will stick with you. I will help you get to exactly where you want to be. But the first step, let's find out where you're at now. What have you tried before? What are your goals? What do you hope to accomplish? What's worked? What hasn't worked? We address all of this from the headspace to stress to rebalancing the gut. When you get those things under control, you don't have to worry about trying to lose weight, diet, ever again, really. Come on in, take a tour, try some of our stuff. Let's sit down, let's talk. And I can shed some light on some of this, I'm sure. So have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. God bless. The program has been hugely successful. I am taking nothing for type 2 diabetes and my sugars are absolutely under control. Uh, I have lost 70 pounds under this program. I will tell you from my experience, follow everything exactly. And through it, in five weeks, I was able to drop 25 pounds and 17 and a half inches. I've continued on my journey of health and now currently it's uh, October 6th. I am down 41 pounds. I'm Latasha. 
I've been coming to Platinum Wellness now for about 33 days and I'm down 26 pounds as of today. Woo! And I'm eating real food and it's just been amazing. My energy level is really high and it's been awesome and the staff here is great. This is not um, the benefit, side benefit to the Candida and also the fact that I've lost a lot of weight feel amazing. And another side benefit from the program is I no longer take blood pressure medication or um, my asthma medication or my allergies. So can't say enough, I feel amazing. I'm getting compliments all over the place from people saying, you look amazing, what are you doing? And um, love the program. And I gotta tell you, it is fantastic. I have energy all the time. I am into clothes that I haven't been able to wear for 10 years or more. I have lost 8% body fat already, which is absolutely amazing, and I hit my 25 pound goal today. The biggest advantage for me, in addition to the 22 pounds that I've lost, um, is just the energy that I have now um, is amazing. Um, I don't, I'm totally off caffeine, um, I don't drink caffeine anymore, don't need it, I feel great. Um, I used to crave sweets all the time after meals. I would finish a complete meal and then I had to have something sweet to eat and I have none of those cravings um, anymore. So that's a huge benefit. So I love the, that there's just science to this program and it, you know, it's, it made me believe that you know, I could fix my problem. The experience has been amazing. I'm just finishing up now. I've lost 82 pounds and I feel great and my life is completely different. Um, such an easy program, the staff here is amazing, and I just, I would recommend it to anybody looking to lose weight, get healthy, and change your life. So I went through this program, and in five weeks, my cholesterol is down 30 points. I've lost another 10 pounds, my thinking is less foggy, I feel more energy, I feel absolutely great. I am doing excellent. This program has helped Jim and I, my husband, so much. We have reduced weight, our insides, our energy, everything is so much greater. It, it's been amazing for both of us. And the biggest thing is, I'm going to be around to see my grandkids get married and maybe even great grandkids. So, it's definitely worth, worth doing this for yourself. I don't have to take medicine for diabetes. I've lost a huge amount of weight. My kids think I'm a different person. They love it. They're so happy. They think, gee, maybe Dad will be around a little while. And you know what? So do I think maybe I'll be around a little while. I can't say enough about this program.